Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, we are doing another map in comp. We're gonna explain the map Vostok. It can only be played in countdown. It's it's one of the worst map you can play for real in comp. So first push, we're gonna start with the defense. So the bomb's gonna be on the right side and on the left side. I can't launch countdown right now because I need two players to launch in countdown. But we're gonna try explaining the pushes you need to make and the angles you need to protect on Vostok to help you get the Luna or like not forgotten better in comp to like understand the map and all that stuff. So first, if you're on defense, on this map, you're gonna separate your team in half. So two are gonna go protect the left side, two are gonna go protect the right side. So here we got an example of the map Vostok, we're spawning the bottom. The chickens are gonna represent two player each. So two on the left, two on the right. You're gonna see the push they're gonna do. Make sure you do the exact same push. Don't go far left, just follow the chicken. So let's start with the left side first. So once you go left side and protect the bomb, the bomb's gonna be right there under. I like going on top just to see what's happening. You can emote there to see if there's a sniper because you don't wanna get sniped there. If there's no sniper, you can watch the cave too from here. And uh, you just wanna stop the team from pushing there. You don't want to push, uh, if you see them pushing from the cave, you try shooting them. If they jump in the air, they can actually kill you from the window. So for example, if they're uh, pushing from the middle and they turn right side, they can jump on the in the air here with a shotty and shotty you through the window. So you gotta be careful. If you see them jumping there, you shoot them, backpedal a little bit, you could crouch like this, he's not gonna kill you. And after you try backing up a little bit, like this side, you back up, and you tell your teammates from the right side, they're tram, they're pushing tram. So as soon as you say that, they're supposed to go back from the spawn and block them. You don't want your team to flank. If they flank, they're just gonna push you. So you want your team to come back from the spawn, like right here. So after you're gonna stop them, if they go on top, if you see one like jumping on top, you can go push there and shot him too. But you don't want the other team to go on top because they're going to get that angle in the window. Maybe some of them are going to go far left. You can try killing them. You can nade if he's planting the bomb. But you want to protect this bomb as most as possible. <clears throat> so yeah, if the other team is going back, you just got to go back on dome and like you got to protect the bombs. On defense, you don't want to push anything. So if, like I said, I'm pushing left, I'm defending left, and I see no one pushing, they all go dome, you don't want to go in the cave there and flank. You want to go back in the spawn, like right there, and you want to go help your team from there. Because the goal is going to be to stop them from planning. If you start flanking and all that stuff, you're going to separate your team and it's not going to work. It's going to be harder to get the res. So if, for example, three of my teammates are there, like two of the, my teammates are there, and they defend the bomb, and I try flanking back there, and I die, it's a 4v3, like we're not getting the res. So you want to go back from the spawn, protect the bomb here, try stopping them from planning, usually they're going to go from the far right. You can use the stairs here, just to uh, get an angle. They're not going to shoot you from left if you hold the stairs. Like if you crouch there, they can't see you from the left side, so you can just angle there like they can't really see you from left so let's uh go back and just uh, show you guys the the way to defend the right side so to defend the right side you're gonna start pushing if you have a sniper you can go there and just try sniping someone but usually no one's gonna stop there so there's two different push that the enemy team can do Send some people here in the little um, tunnel, the cave, and like start shooting you from there, or they can all go in the back. So, you want your team to go in the stairs, like I said. Cover the right side. You can cover the top there, too, if you have a sniper. Don't let them push. But don't stay in the middle here, because if you stay in the middle, the enemy, they have an egg glitch there. And if you're on the uh, on offense, make sure you use this egg glitch too. You can see the enemy team and like, it's really hard for them to see you. So, you're gonna go here. You can emote. 
you can see what's happening if they're not pushing in the mid they're going to go from the right side you don't want to go there on the right side you want to wait for them so like i said the stairs they're going to be really useful if they push from left someone on your team can go this side and just try shooting them and your teammates are going to cover the right side you can go inside here but don't push too far i like just playing this angle maybe block the cave if they're not in the cave you can push and block this side here but if you go like if you go too uh far outside they're gonna see you from the door there and like there's multiple angles they can see you so stay back wait for them to push if you have a warlock put a rift somewhere like right here or um just somewhere like on the stairs maybe too block them don't let them push and you should win the round easily like if you play patient on this map you're gonna win a lot but this map is tricky it's really not well like it's not balanced it's pretty hard to play just because there's a middle there's a right side and a left but like you can't see anything there's just three lanes three different lanes and like i wouldn't recommend pushing in the cave especially if you're on defense so that's for defense also i like showing you guys some uh, spots i like to use there's a egg glitch there if you want to cover the the back there you can only see like the top of my head like right now you can only see my head so that's an egg glitch you want to use all right all right for offense there's three push you can do i'm going to show you guys the first one the first one's going to be pushing dome the far left all the way in the far left so let's see an example with the map again like always the chicken are going to represent the players so two two so everyone's going to go far left and the team's going to separate at one point where you're close to the bomb you're going to see the chicken so you're just going to attack the bomb there so you tell your team all right push far left i want to go far left so everyone's going to go there if you have a sniper you can try getting a pick there but i wouldn't recommend it because the other team can go there faster so you go far left you can go from this side here they're not supposed to really snipe you and you just hug the left wall here you start pushing up you can separate your team now two can go on this side two can go on this side just in lane and uh you can cover the right side too but i don't think they're gonna push there if they push there it's gonna be easy for your team to just take them now so like i said use the egg glitch in the middle you clear the back if your team's going on the far left, you push there at the same time from the middle, like right here. And you kill everyone in the spawn there. But as soon as you're... If they like run back, you can just plant the bomb and play the time. You don't want to push anything. So that's the first push on offense on the left side, on the dome. You don't want to go in the cave. It's risky, a lot of shoddy uh, plays. Like for example... If you go left side, but you go from the cave, and you push this side, as soon as you're going to go on top there, the enemy team can be installed there. They can be installed back there. That's a spot you got to be careful. There's always someone there sniping or like shooting with hand cannon. So you want to be careful. And usually people straight line here. They just push in a straight line and uh, shot at you. But if you have a sniper, you can push there and like try getting the guy there. You can move up, try getting the guy in the stairs too. But use those pillars to just um, hide a little bit. Regen and all that stuff. So if you're getting shot, you go back on this, uh, this pillar. But that was the first push on the left side. We are going to show you guys the second push. Uh, the second push, of course, is going to be in the middle. There's going to be three push, so middle left and right so the middle push you're gonna go in the middle here just straight line you're gonna hug the right here and you're gonna check your radar so if you see multiple targets already installed on the right side you like maybe two or three if there's two you can still do this strat so you check under your radar if you see like two or three you tell your team all right turn left so everyone's gonna turn left and if there's only one guy here or like no enemies, you go plant the bomb. If there's one guy, you just team shot him and like kill him. Same with the tram. 
So if you go here and you see that nothing is blinking on your radar, nothing is red on the top, you start pushing. You gotta be careful still because if you're on this place here, you're not gonna see if someone's back there or sniping. So you start pushing up, you can jump there. And you just saw, you can emote there. And you see if someone's in the back, like on the right side, back there or like maybe behind the rock there. If there's really no one, you start planting the bomb. There's a way to plant the bomb and not get sniped like this place here. I can't really show you guys because the bomb's not there. So you try planting the bomb, you can put a shield or something. And uh, if there's someone there, you gotta kill him. One of your teammates can go on top and just lane the guy. Like right there. Don't lane like this because you're gonna get shot from left. So lane like this. You kill the guy there. And if you want to shoot the cave there, you do the same. You lane like this and not like... Don't stand in the middle of the window because it's going to be easy for the team. If you back up a little bit too, it's going to be harder for the, the enemy to shoot you. Because your head's going to be smaller. So, once you plant the bomb, everyone like... Camp. And uh, if there's like only one this side, push him. Like just everyone go out and push him, kill a guy. And after just protect, it's going to be a 4v3. Like on every map in Countdown, if you see someone alone, push him. If you're all sticking together, it's going to be an easy pick. And after, it's just going to be like 4v3, like I said. So if no one's back there, you can just cover the flank. It should be easy. Cover the cave, throw some nades there. If you throw a smoke and a grenade, it's going to hold them there for like... They're not going to be able to push for like maybe 10 seconds, 5 seconds. So make sure you get some picks. And like you just defend the bomb. There's no really strat. You just everyone camp there and defend. So that was for the middle push. For the last push. I wouldn't recommend doing that push if there's multiple snipers on the other team. And if your team doesn't have any sniper. But you can still do that push. So the push of course is going to be to push right side. All the way right side. One of your teammates can go on the left and go in the middle, not on the left, but like in the middle and turn right after. So you can get more angles, but it's risky. He can get pushed there, but you can try doing the strat. So everyone's going to push right side. You're going to be careful to the sniper there. Like don't really stay in the middle there. If you have a sniper, you can try killing him. If not, just, um, just slide there like. He's not going to really see you if we slide. Maybe the window, but he's not going to have time to go there. So you slide. You hug the right side here. You uh, you can separate your team. So someone can cover this side if there's someone in the cave. Someone can shoot the top. And one guy can go right side here. Maybe with a pulse or like a scout just to uh, kill the right side. Also, there's an angle here. You can see like the middle and the, the window too. But that's if like really no one's on the tram. If they're all four on tram, it's gonna be hard because they're just gonna just gonna collapse on you. So if you go on the right side and like you see that the uh, the like full teams going there, like three or four, you can go back and go dome. Like countdown is really strategic. So if you see the whole team is on one side, you don't need to push there. You don't need to like try killing them and all that stuff. You can just rotate. I know it's like really boring to play like that, but if you really want to win, that's how you got to play. So you push one side, if they're all there, rotate, go left. If they're all there, you can go back. And at the same time, you're going to build your super. But yeah, if no one's there, you can uh, go right side and start pushing up. I like jumping there and just maybe shoddy the guy. And you install on the right side on tram and you, uh, you do the same strat. You can use a window. Make sure you use those windows for real. It's really good. So yeah, you're gonna plant the bomb and just camp. So that's really Vostok. There's no other details about this map. Um, one thing I I could tell you guys is um, if you're on offense, like if you spawn right there where I'm sitting, um, if the enemy team have a super, if they have like one or two supers, I like to just sit in this place so like not push anything wait for a super you can go on the right side cover the cave you can cover from the left there too like on this side like this 
or like the cave and you just want to stay there the enemy team usually if they have a super before you they're gonna want to open so if it's like a spectral or arc strider or like a sentinel they're gonna push from the cave so you you're just gonna wait for them to push as soon as they push you team shot you kill the super like 50 percent of the time you're gonna be able to kill the super for all depends on the super though if, if it's like a spectral it's harder but try your best kill the super and um if they're not pushing just wait wait for a super as soon as you get it you can start pushing you have a lot of time in countdown i think that's like three two minutes and a half like three minutes for one round so you really don't need to push bungie's putting like a an objective game mode but they're putting too much time so you never really need to push for a bomb you can just stay back but in countdown if you really want to win you got to play it back like you can't really ape everything so that's mainly Vostok right now here's how to play the map hope you guys are going to get some points in comp i wish you the best so that's it for Vostok thanks for watching the video make sure you drop a like I tried to put a lot of time doing those videos for you guys, helping you get some points in comp. Make sure you subscribe to the channel too, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!